All right, so now here's the other thing, and a lot of y'all may not like this one. <laughs> I just, just want to be real with you. You may not like it, but hear me out. Hear me out. The other thing that you should be doing rather than just waiting for his text is be willing to reach out and text him again. I know, I know. Some of you are thinking, oh, hell no. If I already text this man, why should I have to text him again? Here's what, here's what I want you to understand. Again, number one, we don't know when there's a reasonable explanation for the delay. All right. So we should not jump to negative conclusions as we've already discussed. However, me telling you to be willing to reach out is more so about the fact that, let me bring it to you like this. I've seen women who, and it's not just with text, with calling or any communication, they'll come to me, they say they're upset, they haven't heard from this man in three days, right? He hasn't reached out to me, I'm so done with this, so on and so forth. And I'll say, well, in those three days, did you reach out to him? And she'll say no. And in some cases, he was the last one to, to, to reach out first. But yet, in her mind, it was, well, he should be reaching out to me. And it's like, listen, you play a part here too. This is, there has to be a mutual effort to build a relationship. And you can't let this, these rules and these games and these tricks and all these things that people have been conditioned to believe cause you to now mishandle this situation and think that you should just sit back and wait for him to hit you up. But let's go deeper than that. The other reason why I want you to be willing to reach out to him is to give yourself some peace. Here's what I mean. What is better to sit there waiting to see if he'll hit you back or waiting to see if he re he'll reach out to you, right? Not knowing, God forbid, you... And even if you try to do all the things I tell you to do, you're human, so you may have a moment where you do the things you're not supposed to do, where you start overanalyzing or whatever. What's better, to sit there wondering, overanalyzing, questioning, dwelling, or to reach out to gain the closure that you need? Whether that closure be, oh, he actually just missed the last text or, you know, whatever, you guys are able to keep things going or closure in, okay, this dude is legitimately not serious. It's not happening. It's time for me to walk away. I just want you to have resolution. And sometimes we have to take an extra step to gain that resolution. And closure doesn't necessarily mean he responds or he tells you what the deal is. Closure is you being able to come to a stronger belief of, I'm done here, this isn't for me, I need to move on. Because again, what some of you, if some of you are honest with yourself, in, in that first waiting for a response, there may be a part of you that says, well, maybe he just didn't get it. I don't know if he got it, you know, and, and that keeps you attached to that man because you don't really have a clear answer or a confident enough belief of what may be going on here. But if you text him again or reach out to him again and he either doesn't respond or he gives you a BS answer, though it doesn't give you full 100% clarity, it's, it's easier to be more confident to say, you know what, this ain't working out, I need to let this go. Now you're not attached to it anymore. Now it doesn't drag on or at least there's a lesser chance of that happening. So it's just for peace of mind. It's also for the sake of, again, you want to make sure you're also doing your part. You, you have to ask yourself, okay, am I waiting for a text from someone who typically communicates with me, has been good with communication, and if that's the case, why not be willing to hit them up again? That's different from a guy that you're dealing with that you're always having to reach out to. He doesn't initiate. He doesn't make his effort. Now it's easier to say, you know what? He don't deserve another text. Just let him go from that first lack of response and keep it moving, all right? But be open to that because I think just being open to reaching out can solve a lot of misunderstandings and uh, bad, poor assumptions. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. But they express they've been thinking about you. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, well, he could just say that. Doesn't mean he means it. Listen, stop being so damn skeptical, okay? I know you guys are used to dealing with players and manipulators, but let's just focus on, again,